welcome back guys in this episode I'm going to start working on the add new restaurant form right um, the idea is to you know, have a modal pop-up uh, opened up when I click on this plus icon okay we need to beautify it a bit but yeah uh, I'll click on this button a modal pop-up will come in and that will have a form okay now for those who are not aware there is a beautiful uh, github repository which is view awesome if you search for it you will get that okay this is a curated list of you know very good plugins and you know uh, tutorials and articles on Vue.js and I would you know recommend you to obviously start this and uh, you know, keep it as a bookmark uh, it has you know generally everything um, you know listed down uh, when it comes to you know any kind of components for Vue.js so for now we will use modal and I have tried quite a few from this and the one which I like the most is this one which I'm going to use which is Vue.js modal okay um, yeah the installation is quite straightforward I'll just take this okay and save now what what they're saying is you no know, we need to import and do view use and that should you know give us the ability to create a modal component which will have a name and then that component can be triggered to show and hide inside our component right so once this is installed why don't we jump to visual studio code app.js in here I'll import view model and once that is done here I'll have the view dot use the model I think it can take a lot of additional parameters but now we are not interested in that we just want a simple model to be you know uh, visible so let's see I have this group where add restaurant is here right this is my if condition so why don't we have our component only visible when you know we have that add new restaurant visible right so i'll have model model name will be sorry add new resto and for now let's have only this much all right now once that is done i need to have something in this to handle the plus icon right so at the right click handle add new resto in here i'll add that method this property this function which will now if we go into this documentation this dot model dot show right now what is the name of our model we'll just copy it from here okay so this should give us the modal if we reload this page and click here right okay so uh, I guess a little bit of SCSS I'll write it out mm. anyways this is not something permanent I'll changing this but yeah anyways just wanted to have this expand a bit now yeah I mean this module or this component has a lot of you know different things you can show these kind of dialogues with you know multiple buttons and yeah quite a few things so I, I would recommend you go through the documentation you can do a lot of things right uh, but for now what we would like to do in here is this model will 
load one more component inside this and that is going to be presto add form dot view okay let me stub it out quickly all right so i have you know written down the entire markup and let's go over it quickly so i have you know, this one two three three form groups with labels and you know input tags so i have name form control name placeholder and then i have address and number of tables I haven't rendered it yet so even i don't know how it looks but let's see oh by the way so i have this um in here in the wrapper component i'll import the component I'll declare it view needs to know that I am going to use this component and then in here we'll add that and see okay so we have this I think um, there's some property which automatically increases the height um adaptive no mm -hmm. there's some property which um should do that i don't know if it is in this one or somewhere else but Okay, for now, I think height in pixels or percentages. Let's keep the height and percentage so that you know, at least we don't have this problem where you know it's sticking, right? So height, um, we can do it here. Height is how, how do they want and uh, the property? It should be in percentage, right? So height should be fifty person let me see I, I even i don't know i need to check so console is on and all right doesn't look like we have some changes in here and it really doesn't look 50 percent um how about 80 i think that should make a visible difference yeah okay that's work no, working right so let's stick to 50 somehow seems to be correct okay we have our form um, why don't we increase it a bit and have some kind of a title in here so that it looks good um, h3 add a new restaurant okay and now let's handle a few things oh it's the wrong component this is where we need that thing okay all right so we had the form but we don't have you know it binded to anything so i'll declare my data property which will return an object then i'll have an empty resto object okay which has name as empty address empty and tables as zero okay now this is something which will be returned but you know um, i think typically when a form is saved i'll again have to initialize this right so why don't we do one thing inside methods uh, basic resto is going to return me this object no this okay return this why don't we keep it in one line uh, just you know makes the code a bit more you know, readable i think that's the only thing otherwise yeah the other syntax would have worked as well that's basically fine but yeah so data is this basic resto i think this should work and then 
what we will do is we'll do the v models for each and every input tag so v model this dot name right this is address this is tables and if everything is right I'll open it up inside my view where is the desktop group this is view.js model just to add form right so the things are working right now the only thing which I would ideally like to do is when I click see it goes away right this just gets destroyed I want it only to happen when I click cancel right so we have that and that's the first property which was described in the uh, documentation after installation which is the show and hide right so why don't we have one more method which is handle add button and handle cancel button they start mm, yeah so this is the thing the handle add new restaurant is here and the cancel is somewhere else which is not a very good thing actually um, why don't we remove it from here okay this dot dollar emit dot event uh, no dollar emit um, model cancel okay let's see so if I emit this then in here this component I can say at this can I do handle cancel let's stop hmm? I think it should work uh, let me quickly check I'm not 100% sure right because this component is getting this as a property and in here I'll just console log I was clicked okay in here hit refresh let's see okay this is not working have I binded it first of all I don't think I have done that oh yeah <laughs> I think you you must have got that but yeah I was you know, more into the thing of you know, getting that property so I missed that so cancel button is triggering this which is you know something which I would prefer which is you know my hide and show should ideally be here in the main you know group I don't want my internal component to be aware whether you know, it is closed or not I mean it should be aware but it should not be triggering the event okay I would I ideally want that when it is cancelled this dot resto is equal to this dot basic resto so what will happen is when I let's say I filled the form okay this is name address okay and I click cancel if I come back here the thing gets cleared right because the model should destroy and um, you know, this thing you know of handle cancel button should clear out the data so yeah I think this is kind of done again on now again this is a um, very similar which is you know my form component uh, should not be aware of uh, yeah so my you know the form component is not aware of the um, logic of how and it is going to be saved and all those things because 
and that's not what it is supposed to do that's something which here i will be handling okay so first click here so copy that this is one function which i'm handling and then add it this methods handle add save save rest and in here as this so what are we doing here on add button which is this at the right click right so on click of this button i am triggering this what it is doing is emitting an event to the parent saying you know this is the name of the event and this is the restaurant uh, the data okay additional parameters and i am catching that event here in my parent component and saying that when this event is raised okay call this function which is this and it takes this argument so if everything is done and we are lucky we should be able to have a console right here yeah. so yeah if we make some changes so this is the name and address i have nine tables all right so rest of data this is where i'm getting the log and i have the address name and table all the you know uh, fields available to me and uh, let me just also confirm so when i go into this and i click cancel the model is gone okay okay my entire component is destroyed so i think you know, that's really not a problem and what is happening here i have some error in here which is a problem let me see quickly what is happening so i click here okay this doesn't seem to be a problem but if i have data hmm okay must have been something else i guess so cancel doesn't have a problem if i do this then also it doesn't have a problem and let's say i have this clicked and then i do cancel all right i don't see any problem anyways so yeah that's how you know we have implemented our form you know the basic component is ready we need to um you know, do certain validations if required but yeah that's not something which i'm going to handle it's but basically i'll need to now do an ajax call uh, hit the laravel api handle the validations there okay i won't be handling validations on the front end just you know to keep things simple but uh, yeah and once that is done we will start showing it up here so yeah that's what is going to come up so thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel